Two shots then. Both were trying to go 50 yards. <laughs> now we'll ask the question, can you spot the difference? Yes. Obviously, the first two we saw, there was a very much sort of full setup as you were with your full shots, which is understandable. You're good with your long game. You want it with your long shots, okay? Yeah. But there's a different setup for short game as there is with long game. It's a different kind of family, different part of the game of golf, okay? So what we see on this left-hand one now, basically a full setup, okay? As you swing the golf club now, you can see almost going back quite a long way and then like oop, trying to put the brakes on as you come back down. You've got a full lower half movement there. Your arms haven't gone very far. Your body's spun around because of momentum, but that ball's gone 70, 80 yards because it's too much power being created, okay? So this one here now, a lot narrower. This foot doesn't have to go quite so flared out, okay? But a lot narrower with the fit, as you can see. Pressure now into that left foot. So that's the two main things. Narrower, or three things. Narrower and open the feet out. Pressure into that left foot, okay? Once you've got that set up here now, we're going to turn the torso, which you do quite well there. A little bit of lifting of the arms here now. And now just let the change of direction be smooth. When you come back to the golf ball, lovely strike. You see the hands there have gone slightly further forward, which is okay. Any more than that, you've struggled at the ground, okay? Right. And then we turn the torso through. And that follow through is actually longer and the ball went less distance, okay? Because you've created, as we said, less power going back. And it's a lot smoother. Just watch the smoothness of this thing as you go back. Yeah? And then you can see <laughs> the reaction says it all, doesn't it? Whereas this one now is like, I've got too much power and it's all very... It's like you're trying to grab on the club and just not that smoothness of the swing. So you're trying to get this practice now. And I would say for you, it wouldn't take hours and hours in golf balls. If you just get yourself at home on a two-by-four doormat, right? And just get used to hitting the ground. Gonna... Just keep doing that for do that five minutes a day. Yeah. This is just five minutes and stop, yeah? yeah? And then go away, do what you do, come back, your lunch break, or come back yeah. again and do it again. Just get used to the club moving because your body's rotating, which it was there, you can see nicely the hip movement's better, and the arms sort of lifting up in the air. Yeah. Once the arms lift, <coughs> the arms can drop, yeah? The arms can lift, the arms can it's smooth and soft rather than this sort of quick change of direction. Yeah. Because you're having a quick change of direction, it's great for distance, yeah? but then you're trying to take power off. So now your brain's in a bit sort of quandary, going, I've got yeah, speed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the way people try and put the brakes on is just grip the club tighter. Yeah? If I was swinging, if I get this club swinging now, okay, if I want to stop it swinging, I just squeeze and it stops. Yeah? Yeah. So if we want to slow the club down, instinct is going to be grip it tighter. Now, we already saw it set up. You're gripping it probably about an eight or a nine out of 10. Mm -hmm. So when you're coming down to impact, you're now gripping a 12 out of 10. Very difficult at the shots with any consistency at all. Yeah, okay. okay, does that That's make great. sense then? Yeah, yeah really so there's does, quite yeah. a lot of things we went through there in well, terms of setup. About, it's mainly all static things that set up. That's what you've got to try and focus on, get yourself in a better position. In summary, the sort of the four word phrase to think of is torso turns, arms lift. Yeah, so from here now, torso turns, yeah, yeah, arms lift. And that club just fall down the ground. Just get used to it again. The, your, really your homework, I suppose, now is to find the ground. <laughs> I will do, yeah. Make some swing and just make, try and go for 10 in a row where you just keep striking the ground okay. over and over again. If you miss the ground, you start again. Yeah, yeah. Okay, mate. Awesome.